Hello, it's Alex, the Bookubus, and today I'm going to be talking about the books I'm planning on reading in October. I am so excited for October and for Halloween and yeah, I have recently started putting together some ideas for books I might want to read during the month of October and I recently saw that Kelsey over at Slime and Slashes has put together an October readathon so I am very excited to be joining in with that. It is called the Halloween Horror Movie Mania Readathon. It's for the whole month of October and there are 13 prompts in total which are all based on horror movies and I know Kelsey put this together with her friend Kat so yeah big thanks and big shout out to both of them. This looks like so much fun and I can't wait to join in. If you're not already familiar with Kelsey's channel Slime and Slashes then I honestly can't recommend it highly enough. She is so awesome, she's such a lovely person and I thoroughly enjoy her videos. We share a love for vintage horror paperbacks so yeah we uh, definitely click pretty well and uh, yeah if you enjoy my videos then I'm sure you will enjoy hers so if you aren't already subscribed then yeah get yourself over there. I will of course leave a link to her channel and to her readathon announcement video so definitely go check that out and see what she and Kat are going to be reading. Okay and like I said there are 13 prompts for the readathon but you can do as many or as few as you like, you can combine some of them if you want, you know just it's just fun to join in. I think I have managed to get something for each of the prompts, I think there might be one um, or rather two of the prompts that I'm using one book for but yeah anyway so last year I remember putting together an October TBR and I had um, the October Dreams anthology which is fantastic and I can't remember exactly what else I read but I think there were a couple of like adult horror novels and then the rest of them were mostly like 90s YA horror uh, and a couple of like middle grade horror books as well and I had so much fun <laughs> with my reading that month. It was great, it was yeah so much nostalgia and yeah just kind of having that feeling like being a kid again so it was great and so I wanted to do something similar this year so yeah I've got a couple of adult horror novels and then the rest are mostly vintage but not all uh, like children's books and YA horror so very excited for them. So anyway, on to the prompts and the books I'm going to be reading. Prompt number one is, you know it's Halloween, I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare from the film Halloween. And this is to read a book or story set on or around Halloween. And I'm going with Moonfall by Tamara Thorne. This is one that I just picked up fairly recently and haven't even shared in a book haul video yet but hopefully that will be coming fairly soon. And this one is in fact set around Halloween and we're following a character who used to live in the town of Moonfall. She went to a school for girls there that was run by nuns and I think the story follows her returning to this town and uncovering some kind of dark secret. So this one sounds really good and I can't wait for all of the Halloweeny goodness. Prompt number two is Nothing Can Call It Off from the movie Pumpkinhead. This is to read a book or story with a pumpkin on the cover. And I am going with this appropriately titled Halloween which is by Cass R. Sandak and illustrations by Frank Bozzo. So this is a book that I had not heard of before but I recently went down a bit of a rabbit hole looking for Halloween related books in my library's online system. So yeah, I literally just typed in Halloween as a keyword and just kind of trolled through a bunch of stuff to see if they had anything interesting. So this was one of a few books actually that I picked up from the library just the other day and I'm looking forward to diving into soon. And this is just a short read with illustrations about the celebration of Halloween and, and where it originates and what it means and what people do to celebrate it. So yeah, I just thought it would be a fun one to pick up and 
you know, I assume it would be a read in one sitting type of book. And I did pick up a few other related books, so I will share those later in the video. Okay, prompt number three is Whatever You Do, Don't Fall Asleep from A Nightmare on Elm Street. This is to read a book or story at night or in the dark to elicit nightmares. And I have picked an anthology. This is The Ultimate Halloween, edited by Marvin Kay. So there's a range of different short stories in here and I figured this would be a fun one to just kind of dip in and out of throughout the month. And I will try to read a story or two at night in the dark. Prompt number four is Who You Gonna Call? from Ghostbusters. And this is to read a book or story featuring a ghost or ghostly beings. And I have chosen The Accident by Diane Ho. This is one of the books from the Point Horror series, so naturally I had to include one in this TBR. And this is about a teenage girl who I think sees the ghost of a girl who drowned in the local lake. She sees this ghost in her mirror and I think they agree to trade places and um, yeah I think we can all guess where that story is going to go but yes sounds like there is definitely a ghost involved in this one. Prompt number five is being normal is vastly overrated from Halloween Town. This is to read a more innocent but still spooky themed book or story geared towards kids, middle graders or young adults. And for this one, I am going with a Creepover book. This is a more recent middle grade series by PJ Knight, which I believe is a pseudonym for various different authors who write the books. This one is called You Can't Come In Here and is about a girl who, she and her family move to a new home and she ends up making friends with the kids next door but seems like there might be something strange going on over there. I've read a couple other creepover books and they've been fun so I'm looking forward to this one. Prompt number six is Wolfman's Got Nards from The Monster Squad, one of my all-time favourites and this is to read a book or story featuring any kind of monster so vampires, mummies, werewolves because nards, blobs, sea monsters, gremlins, aliens any monster or creature would be fantastic. And I have chosen scarecrows. I'm assuming scarecrows walking at midnight would count as some kind of monster. So yeah, I guess I'll find out. But yeah, this is The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight by R.L. Stein, part of the Goosebumps series. And yeah, scarecrows are just inherently creepy if you ask me. So hopefully this one should be a good spooky time. Prompt number seven is Ding Dong, You're Dead from the movie House. And this is to read a book or story featuring a haunted house, hotel, apartment, or any place that's haunted. And I'm going with Gus Was a Friendly Ghost by Jane Thayer and illustrated by Seymour Fleischman. This is a book that I picked up from a library book sale not too long ago. And it just looked so cute and spooky. And yeah, it's about a ghost, obviously. And um, on like the first page, it says he lived in an old house in the country. So haunted house confirmed. I mean, it definitely sounds like a very cute haunting, but yeah, either way, I'm really looking forward to this one. I think it's gonna be, yeah, adorable. Okay, prompt number eight is, Susie, do you know anything about witches? from Suspiria, another of my all-time favourites. And this is to read a book or story that features witches, wizards, or any kind of magic or black magic. And I'm going with a story from this anthology, The Ultimate Halloween. There is one in here called, let me find it, The Witch Who Hated Halloween by Terry Kay. So yeah, we will see what that is like. Prompt number nine is, what do you look like? It depends on who is looking from the Mothman prophecies and this is to read a book or story featuring something unexplainable, mysterious or eerie and I am going with Stranger in the Mirror 
which is a middle grade book, part of the Phantom Valley series by Lynn Beach. And this involves something eerie going on with a mirror. So yeah, the second mirror related story in addition to the accident. And this is about twin sisters. One of them mysteriously gets pulled into a mirror and the other twin has to pretend to be both twins while she figures out how to get her twin out of the mirror. So yeah, this sounds like fun. Prompt number 10 is This One Night Changes Everything For Me from The House of the Devil. Another favourite of mine, I love that film. So yeah, read a book or story set in the 80s, published in the 80s, or has an 80s feel or vibe. Or read a book or story having to do with cults or devil worship. And I've gone for the former of those, the 80s one, and I'm going with Gimme a Kiss by Christopher Pike, which I believe was originally published in 1988. This one just sounds brilliant. So it's about a teenage girl, of course, and her diary somehow ends up, you know, being passed around school. I mean, how mortifying. And it says on the back, some girls would simply die. Other girls would kill. But Jane Retton, she would do both. I can't wait. Number 11 is It Will Consume You from Colour Out of Space. Read a book with a bright or neon coloured cover and I think I picked a pretty good one for this. I've got Graveyard Moon by Carol Gorman and this is a yeah 90s YA horror book and it has this absolutely fantastic cover. We've got the purple and the green and this blue glow and a knife. It's I just love it so much. And this one is about, I think, some kind of initiation gone wrong scenario. So yeah, excited for this one. Okay, just a couple more prompts to go. Number 12 is, you gotta see the shape of this effing guy that just walked in from a terrifier. This is to read a book or story with creepy clowns, menacing mimes, or dangerous dummies. These are supposed to make you laugh, but some of them end up trying to murder you instead. And I'm bending this one slightly and going with a doll and the doll by Rex Sparga, which is one of the books from the Dark Forces series, which was a young adult series from the 80s. This one has such a fantastic cover. It's super creepy. And yeah, this is about a girl who I think wins a doll at a fair, but of course this doll is evil and yeah, creepiness ensues. Yeah, dolls are just terrifying, quite honestly. So yeah, hopefully this will be a good one. And prompt number 13 is, if you believe in God, then you gotta believe in the devil from The Last Exorcism. Read a book or story that features an exorcism or some kind of possession. And I'm not sure if this book actually fits or not, but I'm gonna give it a go anyway. This is your House is on Fire, Your Children All Gone by Stefan Keesby. Keesby? I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that name. I did try looking it up and couldn't find out. So apologies if I mispronounced it. And I kind of had it in my head that this had something to do with demons and or possession, but I could be completely misremembering. So <laughs> who knows? I will read it either way and find out. But I think this is set in a small town or village and of course there's some creepy stuff going on. There are like, I think, old traditions and superstitions and stuff. So yeah, it just sounds perfect for this time of year. And this is one I've been meaning to read for ages. I got this copy from a library book sale a few years ago and yeah, just haven't picked it up yet. And I heard Carol over at Carol Marie Reads talk highly of it. So yeah, I figured I should bump it a little higher on my TBR and uh, jump into it in October. And I'm very much looking forward to it. So those are all of the prompts and the books I'm going to be reading for them. I am so excited for this readathon and for all of these books. I think it's going to be a brilliant month and yeah, there's just so much spooky goodness to be had and I'm here for it. 
Before I wrap up the video, I did want to quickly show these other few books that I borrowed from the library recently. So we have another vintage book about Halloween. This one is called Halloween. It's by Helen Borton. And yeah, it's another one that looks like a quick read with plenty of cool illustrations. So it should be a fun quick read. We have Scary Scary Halloween by Eve Bunting, pictures by Jan Brett. And yeah, this is a children's picture book. So hopefully I will find time to squeeze this one in. And, um, but yeah, it just looks cute and spooky. And last up isn't actually a Halloween one, but it is spooky. It is the Usborne World of the Unknown series and this, sorry about the glare, and this one is all about ghosts. And I remember, I don't think I had a copy of this when I was a kid, but I remember, I think our school library did. I think it must have had a few in this series. So I distinctly remember the UK cover and I had a quick flick through this one when I picked it up from the library. And I was just like overcome with nostalgia, like some of the illustrations in here. I was just like, oh my God, I remember that picture so clearly. Um, so yeah, I think this is gonna be a really fun one to dive into and uh, yeah, feel like a kid again, basically. So those are all of the books I'm hoping to read in October. I know it seems like a lot, but there's really only like, I think two adult novels um, plus an anthology. And then the rest are like short, young adult books and children's books. So yeah, it seems like a lot, but I don't think it is nearly as much as it might look like. So I'm hoping that I can get to all of these within the month. Either way, I can't wait to dive in. And uh, yeah, I hope some of you guys are gonna be joining in with the readathon too. If you are, I know Kelsey would love to hear about it and would love to hear what you're gonna be reading and I would too. And thank you again to Kelsey and Kat for putting this readathon together. I love the prompts and yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait. So yeah, I think that about wraps it up, but yeah, I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready for October now, we're so close. And uh, yeah, we've got the Halloween decorations up already and I've planned my movie list, which is in a separate video. So feel free to check that out if you haven't already, um, but yeah ready for it let's do this thank you ever so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and hopefully i will see you again in my next video bye